What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. There are three topics that we need to talk about today. All pretty important for those of you that play the game every single day. We're going to tackle these one at a time and we're going to start with the server merges that we've been talking about. So let's take a look over here at this forum post that came from the Blizzard forum. Greetings, we've discovered an issue where server merge notifications are not functioning properly for some players, resulting in upcoming merges not being properly communicated to affected players. While we work to resolve the issue, the following are the times and servers that will be affected by the merges. As you can see, there are a lot of server merges going on right now. You guys could take a moment and try and see where you lie, but since the notification process is a little bit messed up, you may not exactly know when these merges happen. So this is something that you could take a look at. If you notice, all of them are happening on the 26th, which is approximately one week, or exactly, I should say, one week from today. And the time is, I believe, uh, actually the time is different on all of them. We have 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3, 4, 5, 9 a.m. So the times are all very different, worth taking note. And it looks like this is a massive batch of server merges, probably one of the biggest ones that we've seen so far. So hopefully we all get a little bit more activity inside of the game. Now keep in mind what times this will be happening so you'll know when you have more people running around the game with you. But we want to dive into something a little bit more here today as we get inside of the game. We saw something come through in the patch notes regarding oblivion pillars and more how could we start getting more of this good gear and i actually have a uh the post for us right here that we could take a look at oblivion pillar and hell slayer bounty updates these are from the patch notes prior to the actual update inside of the game we're significantly increasing the drop chances of earning legendary items for rewards by completing an oblivion pillar or a hell slayer bounty this drop rate can be one of the best ways to earn more items, but will be one of the best ways to earn exceptional equipment. This is somewhere that I admittedly need to improve. I typically dive in during the day and I just do my bounties as normal. And what I really need to do is wait until I get the terror essence so I could go in and do the the terror, the hell slayer bounties instead, because my equipment is lacking and I really could use some of this better stuff. And there's definitely ways that we could do this, three different ways. Number two, for terror rifts, if you didn't receive a terror essence from the first, from uh, from the first from the first three towers you complete, did you see that? If you didn't receive a terror essence from the first from the first three towers you complete, you're guaranteed to get a terror essence on completing your next tower. So it's nice that we're getting a guarantee here. So we're definitely going to be getting the essence because sometimes you just don't get it and it gets frustrating. So now at least we're getting a guaranteed drop of that, so we can get better chances of earning these uh these big pieces of gear now this is what i want to focus on right here additionally we're including a codex task for successfully completing 10 oblivion pillars or hell slayer bounties which will also have a high chance of rewarding exceptional equipment all right well let's take a look back inside of the game right here and see what they're talking about because when we come on over to our codex you will notice that if we scroll all the way down to the bottom you have a brand new one here and it says terror essence consume terror essences you just need to consume them this could be a win or a loss when you go against the tower and what you're going to get right here is one mysterious legendary item and oops that's the wrong screen right there and this item is going to be able to give you a three four or a four four drop for your equipment which is going to be essentially a, a very good chance of it being an upgrade to something that you're wearing especially if you are just someone that's recently gotten yourself into inferno one and you are then able to get a new set of gear because you're going to have that higher paragon level so it's a really good idea and it's something that i'm going to start practicing myself to save your save your bounties start doing a bunch of the uh let's go back to it right here start doing a bunch of the oblivion pillars turn that into hell slayer bounty runs and start improving the gear that you get so that is our number two announcement that we have of the day that at least we're being guaranteed the drop in every 10 runs of getting something that's really 
awesome. I mean, obviously you can get drops just from doing the runs as well, but now we're getting that 10th one. It's kind of like when we run dungeons, every third dungeon you run per day, you get yourself a free set item, a free set piece of gear. Well, this is a very similar mechanic to that. Now we have another thing that I wanna talk about here today, and this is about an issue that's going on inside of the game where a friend of mine hit me up yesterday who shall remain, uh, remain anonymous about a bug that's going on inside of the game regarding runes. They wanted to report that this before they start to be exploited and introduce higher tier runes. So remember, runes right now, in about six days, we're gonna get a new group of runes. And these runes are gonna be probably more expensive if we sell them or to buy, and they're gonna be of higher value. So before we get there, here's an issue that's going on, uh, which I have reported to Blizzard. When you go to class change, we know your legendary items get replaced by transfer items, which mimic your stats, correct? As we know, also we know that your gems transfer from your legendary items to transfer items. Unfortunately, it looks like the runes are transferring to the transfer items, but they are not being removed from the old class legendary items. For example, I'm a necro, I equip eight runes, then I go class change. My necro pieces get replaced in my inventory, but they have the runes equipped still, as well as the new transfer pieces I got from the class change. They also have runes. Now I can just remove runes from either one and duplicate my equipment runes. So if we're talking about runes that are also unbound, and you could potentially go sell them in the market, People will be able to then take runes, 4,000 platinum per rune. I don't know. It's a, a decent example. You'll be able to get yourself 8, 16, 24, 32,000 platinum just from class changing with the runes and continuously doing that. So definitely something that could be exploited here that we want uh, that well, we don't want that to ruin the market. The market's already in a bit of a state of flux as it is right now. So uh, attention to Blizzard for hopefully grabbing that fix and hopefully no one takes too much of an advantage of that. Now, I do want to go back to the game and speaking of the market, let's actually take a look at how the market is looking here today. We're gonna go on in and see what things look like because as it has sit, these are by the way, the legendary gems that I'm more interested in right now. Let's see what values are. Bottled Hope, I'm trying to pick up some Bottled Hopes. Looks like they're still holding their value. Void Spark also holding its value fairly well. Of course, the Blood Soak Jade is going to be able to hold its value. I'll tell you what, though, there's a lot more available on the market now for Blood Soak Jades than there had been prior. Maw of the Deep, some really good values you could grab right here. And this is one of my favorite gems. So really great values for the Maw of the Deep. I guess some people aren't feeling it. And decent value being held by Gloom. But when you go to some of the others, there are some that are very well, very much not holding, like a Spiteful Blood. Actually, Spiteful Blood. Ah, yeah, you know what? It's not holding its value too well either. Starfire Shard holding pretty strong. Just looking at some of the five stars right now. Is one since Haunting has been one of the cheapest, but actually, you know, pretty standard right there. Echoing Shade decent so it looks like maybe we're starting to see a little bit more of the market pull back and uh be a little bit stronger again seeping bile 54 55k platinum right there not the best i've also been trying to sell a bunch of things because i ran a bunch of um elder rifts and we were able to get a bunch of gems the one stars sell fairly easily it's the two stars that take a little bit of time and we're gonna remove this item. So uh, that's that. I do also have, of course, the Seeping Bile that I could sell if I want to. I have the Spiteful Blood, but man, that value is just rough. And the Maw of the Deep, which I will not be selling, especially since we should be buying some at the Platinum rates. It's also worth noting that right now, with some of the rates being so low, for example, if you're trying to get yourself some Maw of the Deep, uh, it may be better to just buy Platinum versus buying Legendary Crests because you could just, the Platinum value is higher now based on the state of the market. So if you haven't thought about that, you should consider, is it more valuable for you to get Legendary Crests where you could sell things for the Platinum and then buy? Or is it better to just go straight up buy Platinum from the market if you're looking to get yourself some of these uh, Platinum to buy some Legendary Crests inside of the market? That's basically an update inside of Diablo Moral. Three topics that we nailed in today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on everything Diablo Moral every day.